Hey guys, and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be working on getting this piece of tailgate trim installed on the tailgate as well as a couple of pieces that are on the old tailgate switched over. So we're going to do that, but before we do, I want to show you something that I was working on the other night. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. Let's go take a look. So do you guys remember the trouble that I had trying to get this thick vinyl installed and laid out on the floor. Well, as I mentioned, I told you I originally wanted to go with carpet and that's exactly what we did and I found the best deal, believe it or not, through Rock Auto. It's still an ACC carpet and it was trimmed to fit. I barely had to cut any of the carpet. So let's take a look at the install and just how good it fits. So as you can see, I've got the sill plates on, I've got the seat in, and I've got all the seat belts put back into place. Now, other than a little bit of wrinkling right here, and of course you can't see it underneath, but everything fit in there very well. I'll post a couple of pictures up on the screen right now so that you can see it, and you'll notice that everything laid in there very, very well. Like I said, there was not a lot of trimming that I had to do, just a little bit on the edges by the door sills. Other than that, it fit excellent. You'll also notice that I got the dimmer switch hole cut and the little grommet put around it, and that looks factory. So one of the things that I wanted to show you is right down here along the edge, it is actually trimmed, and it's got this little piece of uh, whatever, edging, already sewn into it so that when it lays in there, again, it looks factory. Now I'm quite impressed with this carpet, just the way uh, it laid in there. Very, very simple. Um, it contoured the hump, it contoured the seat bubble here. Everything was good, I didn't have to worry about a whole lot. And I'm pretty ex excited to have that in there. And I do have a seat cover coming. Because as you can tell, this is pretty ratty looking. So we'll clean that up, we'll get the new seat cover on, and we'll show you that of course when we get it. For now, I opted to keep the original seat in place just because it is what I had and I do want to get to driving it as soon as possible. I will continue to keep an eye out for a factory OBS style bench seat because they are a lot more comfortable and maybe even something with a built in armrest. But I'm not going to get too fussy as long as it's comfortable uh, for a long drive. That's really all I care about. So now, Let's get to getting this trim piece installed on the tailgate. We're going to have to drill a few holes, so let's get the tools that we need and get started. So now the goal for this piece right here is to get a set flush down inside that little channel and get it attached from the back side. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drill out some holes, five of them to be exact, down through the tailgate and then attach this center piece in there and as you can tell this is not a brand new piece there was one that I was looking at online the guy wanted 150 bucks American and it was almost perfect I couldn't bring myself to pay that for just a piece of trim like this so this one here came up it was 60 bucks and it's gonna have to be re-lettered as far as getting the color to show up through the Chevrolet and it does have a little bit of a dent right in here again I'm not building a show truck I'm building a driver and I just want it to look nice so the whole purpose of this trim is twofold. One, is it looks pretty cool, and two, we're not driving a GMC. We're driving a Chevrolet, so uh, we wanted to cover up that GMC, like I mentioned in previous videos, with a Chevrolet logo. So I've got my tools ready, we're gonna start marking this out. Let's get the camera set up. Okay, so we're getting ready to lay this in here. And like I showed you, there's five different points that this thing mounts with. And we've got to drill holes, and we're going to be using a 9 16 drill bit to, uh, to drill those holes. But in order to find out where we're going to drill, I've never done this before, so this is what I thought of. Is if we can get this centered where we want, then all we're going to do is in each of the spots that we know where there's a mounting point, we're just going to kind of rock it in there a little bit once we get it centered we'll just rock it in and hope that those screw heads leave marks in the paint 
and that way we'll know where to drill. So I think we've got that good. And it looks like we've got a mark here. As well as over there. We've got one just kind of off center of the M there. We've got one right there as well as Right there. So now what I'm going to do just to verify that is I'm going to grab my measuring tape and I'm going to measure between each of the holes I've marked on the tailgate and make sure they correspond with the holes or with the edge of the screws here. That way we know we got the right spot. Yeah, so I think we're going to do pretty good here. We'll start with the center one just because we know that's where that one's going and then we'll kind of start measuring out and double checking our work as we go along. Another thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of uh, green tape down here so that we don't start chipping the paint all to pieces. So we can still see our holes, our marks, there's one there there, there, and there. So, now to take our drill bit and screw into our freshly painted tailgate. So we're gonna flip this over onto here and some of you guys are gonna ask, well, are you gonna do anything by cleaning up the metal brackets that are there? And I'm not, and I'll tell you why I'm not. Because if these do get wet and they do tend to rust, like you see some rust kind of dripping down here, I almost want to see that staining coming down the bottom of the tailgate because it'll kind of go with the rest of the patina on the truck as it sits. And I have decided at some point, at one point, that I'm not going to purposely patina the whole truck. However, we're going to try and buff this back to its original color so that it shines just like the tailgate does. However, I may purposely patina the tailgate to match the rest of the truck. So that'll be in an upcoming video as well. Uh, but we're gonna have to get it out to the shop uh, where we can get it inside with a water hose and uh, a couple of different things that we're gonna be using to make that happen. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Anyways, so let's get this piece of trim on here and get it mounted and we can call that part done and then we'll move on to the actual trim molding itself. tight the whole way across and someday we will come back and we'll do the outline with these letters in black but until then that looks pretty good so now what we're going to do is the piece of trim molding that goes across the top here off the other tailgate we'll get it off it and put it on here now the two last things that we've got to do is we've got to get this piece of molding off the old tailgate and onto the new one as well as we've got to remove all these snap receivers because that is what holds the tonneau cover that I got draped over the car into place. It snaps into all these little snaps on the side. So what we're gonna be end up having to do is unscrew them from here, measure the holes and put holes accordingly on there. I hate having to drill holes into something freshly painted, but guess what? It's the kind of the nature of the beast. It's what you've gotta to do to make it look the way you want and uh, like like the old saying goes, you can't make an omelet unless you crack some eggs. So, so we're going to take this piece of trim off here. And the trick for that is, is just that. It's very tricky because on both ends, they're held in with little studs, which means you've got to lift it up enough to be able to give it a pull on both ends so that it doesn't break those studs and uh, you don't bend the molding. So let's see what we can do to uh, get this out without damaging it too bad. So the trick here is, like I said, with these studs, you've got to get both ends pried up, which we've done. But we've also been able to get, to get under there and be able to slide it uh, all the way down because there's clips the whole way along here. 
The problem that we're going to run into is there's so much junk built up in behind that, like pine needles and stuff, that getting it to slide. So I'm going to grab some penetrating or some lubricant. We're going to spray it in there in hopes that it will help slide a little bit. So there we go, we've got the trim off. The unfortunate thing is, is all the little tabs that actually hold it into place, except for two of them, there's one there and one there, stayed on the tailgate, or sorry, stayed on the trim. And well, we were hoping that they would stay on the tailgate because that way we could just put new ones up on there and be done with it. They're only held on by double-sided tape, but it's factory and it's super strong. And I'm not sure that we can find something, some sort of double-sided tape that's gonna work as well as that. But I've got a solution and it's called Shugu. That stuff is powerful stuff. A little tiny dab will hold almost anything together. I mean, it's made to hold shoes together and shoes flex. This isn't gonna be flexing at all. So we're gonna grab some of that likely. We'll clean the surface, we'll prep it, make sure it's good and clean and we'll get it stuck back into place and what we'll end up having to do is tape it down until the shoe goo dries. So I guess that's the next step. Shoe goo. Okay so we've got our piece of trim all set up with the shoe goo in place on the new tailgate and there is a right way to attach that to the tailgate and I did a video on how to remove the trim off of the side of the vehicle and I'm going to link that right here so you guys can go back and watch that but you have to have all the proper clips. There's two or three different styles that hold it into place. We're gonna make this one work because it's a flat sur surface on the tailgate. And again, we're not being super, super fussy on this truck, but if you're doing a full on restoration, you want everything to be perfect. Well, you can go to LMC Trucks or Brothers Trucks. There's several different companies out there that sell the molding as well as all the clips to put it in with. So while we're letting that set up, we've now got to come up here and get all these snaps off of this tailgate, get the holes measured and drilled to put them in the new tailgate. So let's get them undone. Well, and there you have it guys. We've got both trim, the upper and the lower. We are missing the lower piece here that matches that goes around the bottom here. So we'll have to find one of those and get it installed the same way that we did up here. But until then, we're gonna leave it just like so. And we'll have to come back another day to get the tonneau cover on, make sure all the snaps go into place. We hope that they do because we don't wanna be drilling any more unnecessary holes in the tailgate. So I hope you guys liked this episode and you learned lots on the tailgate and how to get that trim molding put on and uh, you know try and make this thing look more like a finished truck at every step of the way. So one thing we can do is we can kind of come back here and cross those pieces off the list. 
And then we can start concentrating on some other things like the motor and transmission. And those videos are gonna be coming out very soon. Like I said before, guys, we're gonna also be taking this thing and cutting it down and trying to buff the shine back out of this original paint. And I'll show you how we do it at the shop but we're probably gonna be just doing it out here because it's a little more comfortable and I've got everything right here to do it with. So if you want one of my t-shirts, the old car guy t-shirt with Dale on it or an OG shirt or what have you, the, that link is the first one in the description box below. Car guy and six fan show will be on straight six fans channel. Uh, his link will be up here as well as in the description box that uh, you can go over there, subscribe to him as well. Make sure that you tune in to the live streams on Thursday evenings at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern, nine my time. And that way you can join in on the car chat. Again, just a couple of guys talking cars with other car guys. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.